hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement justant in react native justant or justant it is a global state management tool like redux and it is pretty easier to understand and implement than redux redux is very complicated and there are lots of boilerplate codes to set it up but for justant there is no boilerplate code as compared to redux and it is pretty straightforward so today we are going to learn about it and this is for complete beginners and we are going to implement it in react native so here you can see we have component a and component b which i have imported in my index file so here i am going to implement a counter and normally how we can do it we can do it by state which is use state hook right so let me implement that here and then i'm going to show you how we can implement it with juice stand so here we have const set const and the use state hook so let me import use state from react and then for component a i'm going to display this count value so for that we need to get the count prop so it would be count number and let's take it and here i'm going to display it and with that i'm going to provide font size 50 so here we need to pass that so here we can see the zero now with component b i want to provide the increment and decrement so here let me create two button for touchable opacity on press right now i'm going to provide the blank and for the text of it let me provide increment and let me copy it again and this time it would be decrement so here let me take the prop so we have increment which is a function returning void and decrement is same so here let's provide increment and decrement and for this i'm going to get increment decrement now here we need to get the increment and decrement and for that we are going to create the function here to handle those so handle increment which would be set count plus one for handle decrement it would be set count minus one so let's provide that so here i have provided increment and decrement now let's save it so with the save now let's check the functionality so here we are handling this count state like this and we are passing these values to the component with props right so this is the basic way to implement state in react or react native application but if there are multiple components which needs to access these values then it will be pretty difficult to handle the state with use state and in that scenario we have context api from react which is a state management tool provided by react which is also not great at scaling so for large application it doesn't work pretty well for that we have global state management tool such as redux and as i have already mentioned that justand is pretty easy and convenient alternative to redux so that's what we are going to implement over here so let me stop the server and let me install the justand so npm install justand now hit enter so the justand have been installed now after that here i am going to create counter store file in store directory and this is a ts file as i am using typescript so here let me import something from juice stand and that something would be create now first i need to provide the store prop and first i am going to provide count and here let me create use counter store and we can create the store by using this create which we have imported from juice stand and let's provide the type of it which is defined here now within this bracket we can get setter function and getter function as well but mostly we will require setter function here and then as a object we can create the store so here we can provide the count value so this is our store and this can be accessed in any component so here in the component a we are displaying the count instead of getting this count from the prop let me get it from use counter store and we can get it like this state state dot count so here you can see we have this citation of the count now let's provide it 
let's start the server so here we can see we have the zero if we change the value let's 10 so from the store we are getting the value right so we don't need this prop i can get rid of it now here we don't need to pass the prop let's implement the increment and decrement so for this here let me provide increment and this increment is a function which will return void and similarly decrement as well so these are the type of it as we have provided this definition this type definition we can see here we are having an error and the error is because we haven't provided this yet as we have defined so we need to provide the increment let's set the function and we can set it by this setter function let me first provide hard coded value here so here for the increment i have provided one for decrement i have provided minus one these are the hard coded value now save it and after saving we want to access this in component b as component b holds these two buttons right so here let me access use counter store and here let me name it as store increment and here we can get it by state dot increment and similarly for the decrement also we can get store decrement and we can get it from state decrement now instead of increment and decrement we need to provide store increment store decrement now if i use it then we can see that after clicking this increment button we are setting this value as one as i have provided here i am not incrementing it i have just provided hard coded value and similar case for the decrement as well so it is accessing this now let me get rid of these props here as we don't require it now save it so let me get rid of it from here and with that we don't need these either so now we have pretty lean code and it is much easier to handle as we have this store where it is handling all the functionalities and data related to the store and in the component where we have required that particular state value we can access it from there right for this component we don't need increment and decrement so we haven't accessed those we just need count so we have the access of it and it is pretty easy to access now let me provide it dynamically so to get the access of the state value here we can get the value as state and then we can set the value state dot count then plus one as we are going to increase the value so similarly here we need to get the state and now let's set it like this okay so now if i increment then it is increasing the number and let's click on decrement so it is decreasing the number so the increment and decrement is working perfectly well and let me tell you one thing that we have other ways to get the value such as we can get it by destructuring like this so we can get count so whatever we want we can get it like this by destructuring but this is not the best approach to get the value from the store because when we are destructuring it that time it is accessing the complete store but with this way it is accessing this state value only which we want to fetch so if the other state value in the store is getting changed that will not impact here for this component in this way but if we are destructuring it if the other state value is getting changed then it will re-render the component so this is also another way to get the store value but it is not the best for the performance and also here we can see this is a custom hook and as we know hooks can be accessed within a component but for juice and we can access the store value in a normal function as well so it is not necessarily needs to be within a component let me show you here in the index file outside of the component let me create a function let me create check count function and let me create the counter const and here i am importing use counter store we can get the state value by this get state function and here we can see that we have the access of the store okay so we want to get the count value let's console log the counter 
and here let's create a button let me import the text now save it if i click on check count then here in the log we can see we have the log of the count right so here we can see that we are accessing it in a function outside of component so here let me check again right so it is working perfectly well so this is how we can access it outside of a component so as you can see this is a very easy global state management tool and a very powerful one as well so if you are interested to learn more about this then let me know i'm thinking of creating an authentication tutorial with justand so let me know in the comment if you want that so this is the basics of the justand i hope now you have clear understanding of justand and how to implement it in a react native application so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then you can let me know in the comment section below don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye